why did the rain have to come now? My clothes are soaked. Bring an umbrella in case it rains, he said. Well, it wasn't supposed to rain today, Derek. No, 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 no. <sighs> As if this day could get any worse. Huh? What's that? Hey. You're right. No, don't go. I'm not going to harm you. What are you doing out here in the rain? You are... Oh, God. Who just abandoned their pet like that? You must be freezing. Here, take my jacket. I'm fine. She, on the other hand, shivering like crazy. We need to get you inside and under some blankets. Getting you into new dry clothes and drying your fur. How long have you been here? I don't think your owner is coming back. Please. I don't want anything bad to happen to you out here. Can you walk? I'll carry you. Just be on the safe side. Come here, get on my back. And up we go. No, don't worry about the groceries. I can always buy new ones. Let's just focus on getting you back home. We're pretty close, actually. You can see the apartment from here. Just up there. See it? Right, that's the one. And if you look to the 14th floor, you can see a fairy sculpture in one of the windows. Exactly. Say, what's your name? Oh, that's super cute. And now? The stairs. The lift's broken. Don't even think about it, love. I'll be fine. A little exercise won't kill me. We made it! Ah, oh, I can't feel my legs. Oh. In my jacket, there's a key. Could you pull it out and unlock the door? My arms are a bit preoccupied carrying you at the moment. And I don't think my neighbors would look at me too fondly if they catch me opening a door with a necko on my back and keys in my mouth. I'll set you down on the bed if that's all right. I will be right back, just getting you a glass of water. Sorry, I don't have anything to eat. I had just eaten the last crumb when I found you. Here, drink carefully. He has got some new clothes for you. 
They won't fit, but at least they'll try. And a big fluffy blanket. Let me just tuck you in and... How's that? You want to... Um, yeah, of course you can sit on my lap. Come here. No, I haven't. Just a few fish back in the day. I think I still have the aquarium somewhere around here. But never an echo. Though, if they're this cuddly, I don't think I'll mind. Do you want me to brush you? I'll take that as a yes. I suppose next time I run down to the store, I ought to get some tuna for you. And some better clothes than mine, along with some other necessities. Would you like that? Would you like to stay here? <laughs> of course. Why would I ask if I didn't want you to? However, I believe that choice should be up to you. If you don't want to stay here with me, I'm sure we can find a different kind of home. Oh my! I heard Nekka's are affectionate, but... <laughs> no, I'm just not used to pets cuddling. Fish don't really cuddle. <laughs> exactly. Not a good idea. There. Look how smooth your fur is now. There isn't a single tangle left. You don't need to thank me, love. Though... I appreciate the hug. Are you tired? Your eyes are drooping. I suppose I should leave you to rest then. No, 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 no. Don't cry, love. I'll stay. I won't leave you. I just thought... Maybe you'd like the bed for yourself. Okay, I won't go anywhere. Just let me get a little more comfortable if I'm going to hold you all night. There. Now come here. Much better. Why would anyone abandon you? Love, look at me. You're not too much or too affectionate. Never believe that. Some people just shouldn't have pets. You are perfect just the way you are. Plus, if anything, you being affectionate only makes you cuter. I believe petting you is going to be one of my favorite things. Your fur is so soft. And listening to you purring. I guess you also enjoy my patting. <laughs> then I'll continue. It's okay if you do. I won't leave you. Just relax and let yourself fall asleep. I'm right here. You're safe now, love. 